I'm going to make a quick video guys on the processes used to make this acrylic backboard for the weather vane project. Now your teacher will go through all your different options, um, what you can make your backboard out of, it can be recycled materials and all sorts of different things. Um, but the example I'm giving today is an acrylic backboard um, that will go in front of the aluminium sheet. So to get the geometry or the shape if you like, um, there's a couple of ways you can do it. What's important is that you have a completely flat bottom for it to mount onto the aluminium. First way that I'll um, show you will be to use RD Works. Now, this is not my preferred method, just because I find the drawing tools on this program a little bit clunky. But if I was to go to the line tool and then hold down control, that will give me a straight um, line. I can then go to curve and I can wait for my cursor to change so that I know it's locking onto that node. I can then start drawing the shape by dropping nodes. Now, pretty clear that this is not the best work and I'm just doing a very rushed example for the purpose of the video. You can then go back to edit node and you can pull the nodes around and clean the shape up. Um, so that's one way to get your wave shape. When you're finished, you can then also set the height of it. So if I press escape twice, I select the shape. Um, I can lock in to keep it symmetrical and I can say, hey, those sheets are only 250 high, but I want mine 200 high and it will, sorry, 200 wide. Um, and it will adjust the height accordingly. Rightio. So that's one way. Um, the other way is to use Inventor. Now, I much prefer Inventor to create geometry because it's what I'm used to and I know that I'm going to get uh, what I want every single time. So for the purpose of this, I'm going to go to Rectangle and I'm going to draw a rectangle 250 and I'm just going to use that as a bit of a guide as to how big to make my shape because I know that that is the size of the aluminium sheets that are supplied. So that sheet there is 250 by 250. You don't have to use the full 250 and if you take a look here, I think I've only made this um, 150 high but I've used the full width. So with that I can then go to Spline, and it's much the same as the last program, but I find it does a lot nicer job, and it's what I'm used to using. Now, once again, if I took my time, I'd get a lot better. Uh, once I click there, I can then click on the arrow there, and that finishes off my shape. I can then go Finish Sketch, and I'm going to go extrude, select the surface I want. doesn't matter how much I extrude, I'm just looking to make a shape for now. And just like all the other DXF exports, I'm going to select the face, right click, export face as, and I'm going to make it a DXF and I'll call it wave and I'll save it in my year nine folder. I can then go to RD Works and import my wave and I'll just rotate that 90 degrees click on that, I've got to rotate um, 90 oh, that's quite the wrong way, so I've got 180 and now I've got my wave where I'd like it I'm going to get rid of this other one. And so if I click on this shape here, it's 250 wide, 180 high. I could choose to change that shape, it doesn't really matter at the moment. Um, if I took my time a bit more in Inventor, I could get rid of that issue I have here with the, the node there, but that's completely up to you. 
To then import the image, I've simply gone and I've put in Surfer Girl Outline. Um, you can put in the word decal. That will also help and you'll get all sorts of different images. Um, and so I reckon this image here, oh, that's the image I actually used. This one would be even better because it doesn't have the grey background. Um, both will work, but what you're really looking for is a contrasting image. Um, that's just clear black and white. I can then go import and there it is there. Sorry, you're going to right click on your image, save image as. Once it's saved, you can then import it. It's probably going to be way too big, that's okay. I'm going to grab that corner. It seems to be holding the ratio really well. I'm going to hold shift just in case it changes. Click on my little cross in the middle and I can place her onto my little fin or wave. Um, chuck that there. And oh, don't be too worried about this grey area here because it probably won't even print, it'll just be this black area there. Now, if I highlight everything, because I'm using the, the program on my um, Windows computer, I should get a very true representation of what's going to happen. And, see the outline that's going to be the cut then that will be my scan so I need to move her over a little bit so that wave doesn't get cut off don't be alarmed if on your device you're not getting a proper print preview we've had some issues with that and um, but yeah come and see your teacher and they'll be able to tell you whether it's going to print or not but we have had issues with the print preview so don't stress if your print preview doesn't show what's going on. You would then go through and you would change this outline to green so that it is a cut. That can stay as a black um, BMP scan and you would put in the values according to the poster on the wall next to the laser that you're using. So you might end up doing this course in the junior room or the senior room and that's why I'm not going to tell you the settings because they will be different between the two rooms. Once you've got that done, you can email it using the email address that is also next to the laser and you'll be able to email it to the computer next to the laser.